yeah, the physical environment is, is, is subtle. We don't necessarily think of it that way, but it can be just as impactful because it's unconscious in these ways. So it's that unlived life that we're talking about. And the unlived life, maybe they want to be a doctor. What else would, 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 uh, would, would parents have wanted to become, if they ever became? Police. What's that? Professional athletes, things like that. And then, of course, you know, they, they now want to shape you in that direction. Yeah. Notice what he's saying, though. Nothing has a stronger influence. He's not saying it's damaging. He's also not saying it's positive. He's just saying it's a stronger influence. It's, it's neutral. Is the influence good or is it bad? And I guess the answer is yes. Okay. Is it good or bad? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it could be good if it's done properly. It could be bad if it's done improperly. Obviously, there's some kind of attention if you want your, your kid to be a doctor and they want to be a dancer. One of my students over at the college was telling me the story that his parents, he, well, he was torn because he was gonna, he had to make a decision about which degree he was going to pursue, and he was telling me his parents really, really wanted him to become a dentist. I guess he had some family member who was a dentist, and they just thought, oh, that's the place to be. So he was gonna, so they wanted to push him into, into dentistry. And I asked him, well, what do you want to do? And he said, I want to play the flute. <laughs> He's serious. I'm going to play the flute in, in symphony. I'm like, well, I don't know, man. why not? You know? And so in, in talking with him for a while, he came to the, to the conclusion. His conclusion was uh, he was going to go become a dentist, and he could play the flute on the weekends. <laughs> I'm like, asking, do you think you're ever going to play in a symphony, though, if you, if you just play on the weekends? And he says, no, but it's more practical. Now, I haven't talked to that guy in many years. So I mean, if, by now, he should be a dentist, probably. Um, or he could be playing in the Philharmonic, standing, I have no idea where, 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 which, which path he went. But um, I guess the way to find out if it's damaging or not is just kind of um, how, what your life outcome is like. Are you, are, you, are you content or are you not? The hard thing is that, let's say that if uh, he had become a, a, a flautist, what would his life have been like? For the first time, your silence is actually the correct answer. We don't know. We don't know. Let's say he does become, let's say he, let's say he becomes the dentist. He goes off, he lives kind of a eh, fine life, he earns some money, gets married, has a couple of kids, you know, white house, white picket fence, 2.5 children, has a dog, and everything is just kind of like middling and average able to go on one vacation a year, they save up for retirement, everything is just kind of like vanilla. And then in his mind, he's always thinking, if I had just practiced the flute, that would have changed my life. That would change my life. And maybe he's right. Maybe the flute would have changed his life. Maybe if he had practiced the flute more, and he got that job with the San Diego Philharmonic, and they were just like, you're the best we've ever heard. So he He's, you know, maybe he's riding a taxi, uh, an Uber back from the, from the audition, can't wait to go home and, and tell his, his girlfriend who he's going to propose to. And while he's going there, the Uber driver says, hey, man, you seem like in a pretty good mood. He goes, I am, man. You'll never believe this. I'm the new, uh, I'm the new flautist for the San Diego Philharmonic. And the Uber driver goes, really? You? Congratulations. As he goes through a red light, and a big truck goes bang and slams into him and kills them both. <laughs> Yeah, so would his life have been better if he had pursued the flute? I don't know. I don't know. I think back to a friend of mine. This is a true story. She, she told me about her cousin who, um, he lived down in Mexico City. He proposed to his girlfriend. He went in the morning, but on his way to work, he proposed to his girlfriend. And, you know, I guess they've been dating for two or three years. She accepted. He's the happiest man in the world. He goes to leave to go to work. And he jumps off the curb. That's it, like a curb. Not like a curb even, but just a curb. Whatever it was, the way he jumped, whatever, I guess he slipped when he hit the ground. He fell backwards, cracked his head on the curb, and died. Yeah? I, mean, I guess he died a happy man, I suppose. But would his life have been better if he hadn't proposed? You know, or maybe if he proposed tomorrow? <laughs> yeah, I don't know. But that's the thing about it. Like, you think about all the infinite permutations of what your life could have been like if you had taken this road or that road or said this or done that or not said this or gone another direction. It's impossible to know how your life turned out. But we live in such a way that we are absolutely convinced if only I had gone this way, my life would be better. 
And that's because we don't have to prove it. We don't have to live that life. It's easy to say that things would have been better if only, because that place, the if only place, only exists in one place, which is the same place that those monsters reside, by the way, up in your mind. They're not in the closet. The, the, that 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 all you know should have gone this way. Life doesn't exist in reality. All of that stuff only exists in the imagination. And the more time that you spend living your life in your imagination. No, sorry, not even your life. Imagining that, so living the life that you imagine in your imagination. The more time you spend doing that, the less time that you're spending living the life that you actually do have in front of you. And so rather than thinking about how my life could have been better if only I had done that, perhaps a better use of the time is to imagine how it is I can make my life right now better. Not the life I imagine, the life I'm actually presently living. With all of its ups, all of its downs, all of its positives and negatives all of its suffering, and all of its joy. How can I make my life right now better five years from now? And by the way, the way that you think you're making your life better, it might be making it better. You also might be jumping off of a curb at some point, <laughs> slipping back and hitting your head and dying. You might be getting in the back of an Uber and delivering some great news to the driver. Who knows? You can't drive yourself crazy with those possibilities. Oh, if only. But you didn't. Here's where you are right now, and where you are right now it's probably better than you think it is. It's probably not as good as it could be, but that's what life is. You know, when someone asks you how you're doing, a good answer to that is better than most, not as good as some, but overall can't complain. Maybe, maybe. But it's that unlived life of the pandemic that's so damaging because they're convinced that in their own mind, if only I had gone this path, things would be better. So now I'm going to force my kid to go in that direction and because their life will be better. Well, we can't know what better and worse is. All we can know is what is. So maybe the secret is not to pursue the thing that is going to make you happy, but maybe be happy with the thing that you have and that you are to make it better. Questions? Comments? Concerns? Complaints? Criticisms? Critiques? Happy Thursday.